so we have that fuzzy logic tool you can select a waveform type yeah later we'll try to have a scroller that just scrolls through them and those um, values change as you scroll they do change when you adjust the input parameters so yeah there was a misunderstanding it was giving an array of extracted features so essentially for each data point this input waveform will have a value for symmetry and sharpness which is not correct we need it for the whole waveform so now it uh, suggests that uh, we should correct the code so gpt4 has a lot of the context you can load all the code into it and it doesn't forget it keeps a uh, um, copilot seems to forget what just happened a couple seconds ago so what we tried here is when the original gpt generated the code we also asked to generate prompts for the changes in the last response let's start a new gpt because yeah that was uh, it was going places there was wrong so we're now replacing a um, calculate peak sharpness array and symmetry array into one uh, value so for example and we already took it from uh, gpt but just so it has the context let's quickly do this again it should essentially produce the same code calculate waveform symmetry to assess the symmetry is dividing it's dividing the whole uh, waveform into two parts there's a first half second half it makes more sense than left and right this is a uh, really good absolute value yeah, it's a different calculation so the original one is calculating mean arithmetic mean and the second one is will be a problem after this yeah so those yeah how about we should we just calculate symmetry it should not be an array calculate sharpness remove the waveform from there okay now it's better sharpness getting an error something will we yes fuzzy data is missing or invalid okay yeah probably need to need to do that but sharpness i also had the prompt to modify fuzzy logic function to use the new whole waveform symmetry symmetry and sharpness features yeah this will give us a wrong um, output but we'll try it anyway already have fine peaks fine troughs i don't know why it's starting to regenerate the whole thing update the membership function it can gpt forward to this as well because copilot for whatever reason tried to update the whole code i don't know why it's added more, more membership functions those rules the membership function the 0 to 10 should correspond to the range of outputs for symmetry and sharpness i think that is correct what is the range of output for symmetry and sharpness calculations it says it doesn't have access to the specific data or calculations there is no data it should be in the code expecting something more specific not having much luck with copilot but it's actually suggesting to simplify the code to have only symmetry low and high sharpness low and high we have the rule it's not the complete code obviously now it's back to three levels low medium high the membership function between zero and one they are trapezoid that's what I have in the code, isn't it? Yes. Okay, now just copy pasting from my code from the earlier code. I have another rule for unknown but sharpness. It's as if it's forgot about that unknown or did I add it later? Must have added it later. Yeah, the code looks more like it. I like this one. So let's modify the functions step by step so we're already calculating global features don't need to oh actually called don't have the waveform in the name it's a 
Okay. They do take in the noisy signal. Getting this information from is the noisy signal. Okay. Symmetry. Oh, I like what we have so far, but uh, now the membership functions. So we're suggesting two low and high. I have three low, medium, high. Let's stick to the low, medium, high. Same. Um, sh those are the membership functions. Then you have a degree of membership. Sh just sharpness. It's the fuzz interpol uh, interpol uh, interpolation interpol universe. Okay, that looks legit. Then we have the fuzzy rules. So we have suggesting to have type A. It's type A. So square has low symmetry, low sharpness. Triangle has low symmetry, high sharpness. Okay, there's a problem there. That's because we're not doing the medium stuff. Pretty sure we would need three levels, but and then this code is not complete because the rule types. A couple of issues. First of all, wouldn't three levels be better than two? So for symmetry and sharpness have membership functions of low, medium, and high instead of low and high alone. Second issue, can you look at the code that I provided and update the rule names? There should be rule square, rule triangle, and rule trapezoid. A third problem is we need to include an option where the algorithm doesn't know what the waveform is and producing a unknown as an answer. Didn't get known. That's a good idea. Okay. Dating rule names. Yes. Handling unknown. So using triangular uh, membership functions again. Okay. The rule square symmetry high. Yeah, that's incorrect. You know what happened there? It was producing a, yeah, this says Python. Then all of a sudden it's CSS. What? But it's the continuation. Some threshold. It's that threshold. To define a threshold for unknown. We need to return the centroid as well. A couple of issues with it, but yeah, we have trouble integrating. Tree of membership. We have the rules. Okay, let's go over the rules again. Square. Yes, yeah, symmetry should be high. Sharpness low or medium. And triangle sharpness high, asymmetry low. Depends which triangle we're talking about. Currently getting a 500 response. Okay, sharpness high, trapezoid, okay, rule square, uh, what are those? Okay, I think we don't need that. That's adding zeros to make um, the length to match uh, length of a race. Where's the defuzzify? Let's do this here. I'll keep it centroid. It meant to be, I have single quotes or double quotes. Yeah, this is still a problem. Yeah, we need to watch just the JavaScript as well. It's a noisy signal instead of signal, isn't it? Something I don't get in Copilot. Go JavaScript. How to modify this JavaScript code based on recent changes in the Python server backend? I need to modify the JavaScript to work with this Python code. Are you kidding me? This is the Python backend. What? So that's, okay, the chat is hopeless. Can you see the above JavaScript code that I provided earlier? Based on the changes, the recent changes in Python code, do we need to modify anything in the JavaScript as well? 
Yeah, the co-pilot is hopeless with context. Yeah, it's still the same. The fuzz that is now called something else. Let's do this funny things now. But it's generating another response. <laughs> How to win? What happened to ChatGPT? Uh, it's uh, producing the code as text outside the Python window. And then another window called Bash, which doesn't make any sense. It's having these super bold letters. Yeah, something is up. It's going down. It's the CEO out the company again will go down at some stage. So I'll see you next time. Bye.